Big Bertha has an airbag leak. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is Big Bertha, man. If that, if today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're taking it back to the back. To the back. If y'all have been followers of the channel, oh, yeah, and thank you. Thank you, too. I want to say thank you to the ones who have been subscribing, the new subscribers, the new supporters of the channel. Hey, Flat Truckers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. But anyhow, we're going to take it back to the to the old school a little bit from when I first started dropping my videos and stuff to let y'all know, like, things that was going on with the truck and, you know, things that might help you get along or whatever. But we got an airbag leak. Big Bertha has an airbag leak. So we're going to get out here and we're going to uh, go ahead, switch this airbag out. And, uh, yeah, I'll walk y'all through the process, man. And uh, hopefully this video will help somebody else out, show you how to change an airbag. You know, it's not too hard. It's only two bolts, a couple airlines, you know, take it off, put a new one back on. All right, y'all. So here's the new airbag. We got us some duct tape to hold our lines. We got our breaker ball. We got a 3 4 phone nail, or either you could use a 19. We got our crescent wrench. So our crescent wrench is going to be to press these uh, air tabs down right here. Press them in. Screw that up out of there. Then you got a bolt right here. And then you got one underneath there, if you can see that one right there. Right there. We're going to take that one off. And yeah. First, we dropped our airbags. You see, it's decompressed. So, first, we dropped all the air out of the airbags. And then we're going to take it out. Take the, uh, the uh, bolts off. And uh, then we're going to let it back up and uh, let the pressure build back up. And then that way we can get it up out of there. All right. So as y'all can see, we crimped the lines, crimped the lines. We took the stem out of there, which is right here in my hand. We took the stem out. We crimped the lines so that the air won't come back through. Now we're going to go ahead, we're going to get our breaker ball, we're going to break this, and then we're going to break the one up underneath. y'all so as you can see we got it back in there that's a new one in there we haven't put the boat on the bottom yet and we still got to put the boat on the top right there make sure you get that in, in them grooves down there make sure you got two indentions on the top and then you got two uh prongs or whatever that should go down in those indentions so make sure that it's flush so see make sure that that top right there is flush down on there where it's sitting at on the frame so then we're going to connect our air holes right here back. We're going to connect that back right here. Put our air holes back and then we're going to take this tape off. Off of these lines. We're going to take this tape off and then we're going to pop it back in. That boat on the bottom, quick tip. That boat on the bottom, you really don't want to tighten it too much. Because if you mess around and you tighten it too tight, you're going to uh, bust that plastic. So, uh, yeah, that's a little quick tip. So don't tighten it too tight. But let me show you. All right, so we got the top back on now. We got it bolted down, got everything bolted down. We got all our lines and stuff connected back right here. Let me see, y'all can get a better angle. Got our lines connected back down in there. All right, and then you see 
we got our boats up on the hill boated up. So. All right, so we're going to crank up. We're going to do a quick test run and see if all uh, everything pop back up the way it should. All right, so it looked like we in business. Everything seems to be airing back up just fine. Everything seems to be looking just fine. Let me show y'all how this old one look. Check out this old one. See where it was all damaged at? It's all damaged on it. Busted right there, busted right there, busted right there. Yeah, man, this is the old one. I know I put that yellow piece back on there, but this is the old one, man. It's no good. So, yeah, this was an airliner. We went back with the HD HDVs. So we we went back with the HDVs. Um, I know everybody saying Firestone. Go back with Firestone. You know what I'm saying? Firestone's the best. This, that, and the third, or whatever. But you get these HDVs for like half the price. You know. So we're gonna see how they gonna hold up. If they don't hold up well, we'll go back with the Firestones. But you know. The guy that I was talking to at the store, he said, basically, it's the same product. They just slap a different name on it. So I told him to give me these, and we're going to see how they're going to go. I'll give y'all an update on uh, how everything went or whatnot. Yeah, man, make sure y'all hit the like. Make sure you hit the subscribe, and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Until next time, Runaway Child, and we are out. Yes. What y'all wanna do, man? Y'all wanna let go? Let's go. Man, y'all need